Alright guys, so yesterday I put the um, Yak Attack Lever Lock HD Anchor Trolley on the Old Town Sportsman PDL 120. Here's what it looks like. I kind of wanted to do like a vlog of it. Uh, I started but I ran into some technical problems so I figured I'd just show uh, what it looks like and I guess a uh, little bit of the process how I did it. Also I put in the um, Wilderness Systems through hole wiring kit and uh, I didn't realize that I had white uh, instead of clear um, uh, marine uh, adhesive sealant. Um, so I can, I'll just color that black I guess after a little while. Um, well it's already dried up but uh, yeah for this uh, I, I guess I'll post a video of this uh, separately because uh, the technical difficulties happened after I got done with this. But um, so yeah, uh, like I said, it's the HD system. It has the backing plates in there. I uh, didn't have to do the third screw here or for the uh, clamp base because with this hatch here, I could reach my arm in and do it so I didn't have to drill that third screw. Um, but I did do it and use the uh, rigging bullet technique for back here. You see the extra screw. Um, kinda, you know, for the most part went off without a hitch really uh line lining everything up took a little bit of effort i think for here and for my last and final little um this one here i had like a little problem i guess the hole i drilled was off or i just had to work to get it to start screwing but i eventually got it but um uh, like I said, it was mostly without a hitch, just that when I was, you know, uh, I used the eighth inch bungee technique to kind of snake it through here so I could get to this uh, back panel here. So it was pretty easy. Uh, it stayed, you know, you want to keep it to the uh, correct side and not not here in between the scuppers, but, you know, to the wall with you. Um, so, uh, like I said, I just snake through the bungee. Then I like lifted up the kayak, kinda like uh, this, but uh, like way higher, so the bungee would like kind of fall. And I got it far enough so to where I could reach in with my hand through this uh, hatch right here and just like grab it out. Uh, but yeah, um, back up. Give you the view of what it looks like. I do still have. Uh, some clips of me doing it so if I mean if you want like a montage I could throw one together but I figured I'd just uh, show you that you can do it by uh, just going through this hatch so you don't have to drill a hole here and for the clamp base here you don't have to drill the extra third hole I just went in with the two screws uh, like I said, I only had to use the rigging bullet technique for the back here, and uh, I think it looks pretty good, so I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it'd be awesome if you guys could subscribe so I could go uh, live. I think when you hit like a thousand subs, you get to go live from your phone, from uh, YouTube, uh, from the YouTube app, and I'd love to do that so I can be out here and like... Like, this could have been alive, or me installing this could have been alive, and that would have been pretty fun, I think. But, uh, once again, thanks for watching. You don't have to like, comment, share, or subscribe, but it'd be awesome if you did.